Thank you, Tabo. In your business news this evening, we look at the economic outlook and business implications of the State of the Nation address delivered by President Saul Ramaphosa yesterday. Investors were looking forward to critical economic issues such as energy and logistic crisis being addressed in depth with possible solutions. As much as Ramaphosa did not touch on the issues, um, he did not dwell on them as many would have expected him to, resulting in the SONA address having absolute zero impact on the markets. Now traders and investors are now waiting for the budget speech to be set to be tabled rather by Finance Minister in Ogodongwana on the 21st of February. In his speech, Godongwana is expected to lay out the government's spending priorities, revenue collection measures and updated economic forecasts and detailing what the country's finances will look like. Ye is Senior Political Analyst at Oxford Economics Africa, Lonel weighing in on the SONOM. Our expectations ahead of uh, last night's State of the Nation address was that it was going to be less of your usual SONA speech in which the President lays out his government's plan of action for the year to come and makes significant policy announcements and more of a political stump speech with the elections now only a few months away. And that very much proved to be the case. I think the President used the occasion and the platform as well as the very friendly, receptive audience with EFF members not in attendance to pontificate about the accomplishments of both his administration and previous ANC governments adopting a 30-year perspective um, on all the accomplishments of government since the advent of multi-party democracy. As such, it was a political speech, it was a pitch to voters, and for those neutral listeners of ours, it contained very little of substance and very little to discuss, really. Um, it is, of course, possible that the government has initiatives that they are saving for the second SONA speech will be delivered later after the elections, in all likelihood by Mr. Ramaphosa as well. And we'll listen to that speech very keenly. Um, as for this particular SONA, of all the seven SONAs that um, Sir Ramaphosa has delivered to date, this was by far the uh, least significant and least impressive one.